evening, everyone. With Heather Underwood, I'm Ed Harding, and right now, News Center 5 has uncovered disturbing new details about the House of Horrors in Blackstone, where three infant bodies were found amid filth. The neighbor who discovered the small children living in squalor is now talking about the shocking conditions. This is we're getting a first look inside the basement of the home where the children's father lived. News Center 5's Rondella Richardson is live in Blackstone tonight. Rondella? These are the police reports from the day police first entered a month ago when they charged the living boyfriend in the basement with marijuana possession. Now, the neighbor, she has a son who's a playmate with the 10 year old who used to live here. The boys came to her together to ask for help with a crying baby that she never knew existed. I heard them screaming from the street. The neighbor went inside on August 28th, the day the four children were taken into state foster care. Shock, of course. The smell that came out was horrific. I found the older child. He was sitting on a mattress, um, completely sunk in with feces, completely covered. Um, his hair, his clothes, everything. He was rocking back and forth. The neighbor went room to room. Police say the mother, Erica Murray, left her 10 year old to watch the five month old and three year old. Court documents say fecal matter covered large portions of the three year old. The neighbor's call to 911 still emotional. I had asked them whenever I called if I could pick the babies up because they were crying. They needed me. And they told me not to touch them until the police got there, so I didn't touch them. And whenever the police got there, I said, Can I pick up the baby? And he said, If that's what you want to do. The neighbor wants to remain anonymous. She tried to clean the girl. So I took my shirt off and cleaned her. In the basement, investigators seized marijuana, the plants, the lights, the small bags that police say belong to Raymond Rivera, the mother's boyfriend. The mother told police, I haven't been down there in the basement for five months. The St. Paul Street building is owned by the boyfriend's sister, Christina Rivera Whitney. She rents in Woonsocket. Christina Rivera? Go away. What do you think about what's happening at the house in Blackstone? Can you go away? The town administrator says that they have reached out to her and she has signed papers knowing that she is responsible for the cost here. We also spoke to the neighbor about what happened when she confronted Erica Murray, and we've just learned that Erica Murray is in a section of the prison for people who are a danger to themselves.